Hey everyone, I'm back with another video and in this video we'll talk about what are dependent pick lists and how to use them in Salesforce flows, specific the screen flows. So let's start. Starting with the basics as always, what are dependent pick lists in Salesforce? So a dependent pick list is a custom or a multi-select pick list field for which the valid values depend on the value of another field called the controlling field. Uh, take an example of two fields, country and state. So country, uh, let's say you select the country as India, you will, uh, the state pick list should have the values uh, that are dependent on the country field. So here country would be the controlling field and state would be the dependent fields. So controlling fields can be any pick list with at least one and fewer than 300 values or checkbox field on the same record. Uh, we use dependent pick list to help the users enter accurate and consistent data. Uh, Take another example uh, of a reason custom field on opportunities and making its valid values dependent on the stage pick list. So stage is the controlling field. So if the stage is closed one, the valid values for reason field would be superior features or lower price. Or if the stage is closed loss, then the valid values would be inferior features, uh, higher price or company viability, etc. So to move to the next slide, uh, considerations for dependent pick lists. So check boxes cannot be dependent fields. It can only be controlling fields. Multi -select, you cannot make multi-select pick lists uh, as controlling fields. It can only be dependent fields. Controlling field value limitations. So it's like, as I told, the controlling field can have max up to 300 values. Uh, field level security for controlling and dependent fields are independent. So we need to ensure that we have uh, proper security uh, for both the fields to be visible. Uh, so record type de uh, dependencies, uh, record types determine the available values for both controlling and dependent pick lists. So when creating dependencies, we should ensure that the selected, uh, selected record type is considered for both the fields. Uh, for lead conversion, uh, lead conversion uh, require the same dependency on related fields like account, contact, and opportunity. Uh, what are the different ways of using dependent pick list in flows? So there are two ways basically using the flow screen input component dependent pick lists. Uh, with this input component, we can display up to three pick list fields which have dependencies between them. The second is the uh, feature of adding record fields directly on this flow screen. So this feature was available starting summer 21. Uh, the record fields uh, are determined using a record variable that we create uh, uh, at the starting of the flow. Uh, so when we add a record field to a flow screen, its name, data type, help text, and other things are automatically configured. Now let's see a demo. Now in my org, and I have opened the account object. Now, um, if I go to fields and relationships, uh, let me search for country field. And if I open it, uh, I have a few countries defined that are India, USA and Canada. Then similarly, I have the state field. If I open the state field, I have um, some states defined, for example, Delhi, California, Ontario. And uh, finally, I have the city field. So to create a field dependency between them, I'll go to object manager and select account and click on field dependencies here. Then I'll click new. I have to select the controlling field. The controlling field is country and the dependent field is state. Right. And click on continue. Now I'll get uh, some kind of this UI. Now it, uh, it wants me to select the uh, available fields for the particular uh, controlling field. So let's say if the country is India, I only want to show Delhi. So I'll click on include field. For USA, I only want to show California and I'll click on include fields. For Canada, only Ontario, include fields. And I also have an option to preview. So let, before saving, let me preview. Yes, so I have, let's say India, so I have Delhi. And then I have, if I select USA, I have California. Awesome. Let me save it. And let me go back to the field dependencies and create a new dependency between state and city. Uh, so if uh, the state is Delhi, I want the city New Delhi. 
if the state is California, I want Los Angeles and San Jose, include field. And if Ontario, then I want Toronto, include fields and save. So now I have created the uh, dependent uh, dependencies between the state, country and city field. Now let me go to the flow and let so I've created a screen flow and uh, like I have will be placed on the record page. So I've created a record ID field. So this uh, record ID field will automatically be populated on a record page because I've selected it for uh, input available for input. Then I'm querying uh, this uh, account rec account um, record with providing the record ID. Then I have the first screen. In this screen, I will uh, select using the dependent pick list input component. I'll just drag and drop and let me name it account dependent. Now I have to provide the object API name. Object API name would be account. Then I'll go back. I'll have to provide the uh, API names of the field. Let me first search for country. We can add, uh, so using this component, we can add up to three pick list fields. So pick, uh, this is the API name of the first field. This is the API name of the second field. And if I scroll down, I have the API name of the third field. I can even add a label required and value here. Uh, right. And let me click on done now. Uh, okay. So now if I open, open the using fields tab screen, I, I'll go to the fields component. I'll have to select uh, the uh, record variable. I'll select account using the get records that I queried. Now, let me add the multi dependent pick list. I'll have country. Then I'll have state. And then finally, I'll have city. Awesome. And let me click on done. So uh, this way we, we can have uh, the dependent pick lists on the flow screen, the two ways. Now, uh, let's say you have a requirement that you only want to show the city field on the screen and the country and uh, the state should be hidden. So how you can do it, um, if you go to the uh, country field selected and you have this section as set with a field visibility, you can go here and select all conditions are met then add a new condition that if a uh, false value is equals to true. So this condition will never be true, right? So I've created a Boolean value false value and given the default value as false. So I am putting a condition that this false value should be equal to true. This will never be the case. So we will not have the country field shown. And then similarly, we can add a visibility for the state. And if let's say we only want to show the city, we will only show the city. Now click on done and I'll click on save. Let us debug it. The flow debug screen. Let me add the record ID and let me click on run. So it's saying that select city and state on the next screen. Click on next. Then it, this is using the input uh, dip, input component of the flow uh, dependent pick list. Let me select India. Let me select state as Delhi and city as New Delhi. So this is how this would work. And uh, now using the fields component, I'll select in the country, I'll, let me select USA, state California and city as Los Angeles. So this is how the dependent pick lists work in a flow. So hope you learned something new. And this, I think this is a really helpful session for uh, the Salesforce administrators. Uh, so do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone for watching.